Hi, I'm Dr. Kara Gubbins, founder of the Animal Wisdom Circle, author of Divine Beings, The Spiritual Lives and Lessons of Animals, and creator of the Animal Wisdom Circle Oracle Card Deck. Today, I want to introduce you to, oops, I want to introduce you to the American Buffalo or the American Bison. Um, these guys have a lot of spiritual juju and their message is really, really important. So, spiritual guidance from the American Buffalo. The spiritual gift of the American Buffalo is survival. It's longevity. It's staying alive. The odds are against them. It's a hard life and they have to just keep going and going. And so their real spiritual gift is that they do, that they continue to survive, that they have longevity individually and as a species. Their spiritual lesson is about remaining peaceful. And the bison says, how do we remain peaceful when there's violence all around us? And it's obviously like we can think about what happened to the American buffalo and how they were exterminated when the white men came across the continent and how much violence was around them. And there's this, this animal is so, so peaceful. The first thing when I connected with the bison in the animal wisdom circle, the first thing I felt was this palpable sense of peace and power. And so here these incredibly powerful, strong animals are, and all they want is peace, and they're surrounded by violence. They just want to travel and eat and raise their families, and yet there's violence all around them. So their challenge, their spiritual challenge, is to remain peaceful when they're surrounded by violence. Obviously, there's a lot of lessons for us today because so many of us are peaceful, and we're coming from such a place of peace and love in our hearts. And yet there is a lot of violence around us. So I asked the bison, what on a practical level, what do you do? How do you stay peaceful when there's violence? And he says, choose from your priorities. Act from your heart. Choose what your priority is and act from there. And it's really about the fallen one, honoring them, being loving, and staying in that place and not getting sucked into the violence and the hatred and the upset the angst, all of that. So um, that's the spiritual lesson. And then the message that he had for people was to stay, to choose to walk softly on the earth. And interestingly enough, each bison alone walks softly on the earth. They're herbivores, they travel, they really leave a small footprint. As a group, they can make a big impact, but individually, it's all about having a small footprint. And for us, we can take that lesson into our lives as well. How do we have a small footprint? You know, our carbon footprint is one footprint, but also who are we being in the world? How are we bringing ourselves into the world? Are we being gentle with the earth? Are we being gentle with the people in our lives? Are we being a force for peace? And if so, then we're, we're choosing to walk gently on the earth. So that is the bison, and that's the spiritual guidance from the bison. If you want to learn more about connecting with animals and getting spiritual guidance directly from the animals, please join me in the Animal Wisdom Circle at animalwisdomcircle.com. And if you want to learn more about how I connect people with animals, um, spirit, <laughs> and nature, God, I just totally lost it there, animals, nature, and spirit, then you can visit me at drkaragovins.com. And um, just remember, every being is a divine being. Have a beautiful day.